Good morning, students. Today we are going to start a new topics. This name is tab stops. Okay. We are learning word processing, and in the form of word processing, we are going to learn MS Words. And actually, it's a word processing software. And in word processing software, we create documents and we work on our documents. So we cannot only simply write anything in a word processing software as a MS Word. That means our motto should also be that how can we make a more attractive and enhance the readability of documents for that purpose there are different type of tools available in a word processing software as a ms word now one of the tools which name is tab stops which we will discuss before this we will discuss if you have to leave this space then what we use for leaving a space we use two key space key space key okay whenever we have to make two words whenever we press a space key then uh, ms word considered that text as a word okay then the amount of a space of a space key is fixed we cannot change any in a space key suppose this is a space of a space key then it is a fix in entire document we cannot alter any changes in this next for spacing tab okay tab in tab we can leave a space tab uh, suppose when we press tab key then cursor will be reached from this place okay now for in generally we should, uh, you should know that for spacing use space key and tab key okay now we will discuss about the tab stops what do you mean by tab stops tab stops tab stop are the location at which the cursors stop after the tab key has been pressed that means key whenever we press the tab key then the cursor will be reached at this place it defined tab stops okay by default the tab stop key is 0.5 inch 0.5 inch it's a set automatically if you not change in any tab stop key then whenever you press in a word ms word then when you press a tab key then it will reach in this place then the its distance is 0.5 inch okay now if you want to change if you want to change that may we can change tab stop key according to our requirements okay uh, like if you have to write the name suppose the role name and class okay name role class class sections and p okay now space is 1 inch here 2 inch here again 1 inch and here 4 inch okay now the space is different different then it is possible from the tab stops in if you set the tab stop tab stops we can set the tab stop key by clicking on the rulers rulers which appear just above your working area okay then suppose wrong and after that you have to set press key and uh, you have to leave the space one inch then it's the ruler and where you will go and press 
mostly. Then the sample will be changed from this texture first, and after that you have to leave two, then you two, and after that fill again, then you have to make one, then four space set. Now we can set time stop key and again when number you will suppose roll number one and after that you will press the tab key then your cursor will be reach in that place okay like uh, write any name again you space thing here reach here and here okay you don't need to press again and again if you will not set then uh, for you have to leave one inch then you have to press two times you have to press four inch then you have to press eight times okay it will reduce your pressing key so it's the tab stops you can change in tab stop key by rulers and page say paragraph by the help of paragraphs okay now let's see about the type of tab stop key okay students we can use tab stop key in different forms actually there are five types of tab stop key first first there are five types of tab stops we can use by five way a tab stop key first left tab okay left tab right tab center tab decimal tab and bar tabs okay now left tab okay we see what is the function of left tab okay it left align the text at the tab stop suppose uh, we create Role name class sections and P. Okay, now role and if we use set the left tab, left tab, then it align the text from the it align the it left align the text that means it, it alignment will be left suppose row number then it from this it left align left align and if you want to set the name from right line then it will write from here it will be right align and if you set class class tab center then it will write in a mid mid in the mid it center the text around the tab stop tab stops it place the text in the just middle okay and decimal it is one of the most important decimal tab suppose we write decimal two thousands Okay, and if some one again write one thousand two five six seven. Okay, and again any write five eight seven. Okay, then it align according to decimal point. If you use decimal tab key, actually it is used for numeric value, and in that numeric value if you use decimal point then we have to use a decimal tab and it align according to decimal points let see 2000.00 and again if you write 100.2567 and 5.87 then it will align according to decimal points it's used for decimal tab okay and again one of the important is bar tab if you have to write any in a tabular form then you can create tables but if you don't need to create tables if you don't want to create tables and write anything in a vertical forms 
and suppose wrong name in class section and after that you want that's a vertical length okay then you have to choose bar tabs if you set the bar tabs whenever you press enter key enter key then it will make a lines you can make in every then it will looks like and arrange your data in this manner this performed by bar tabs so it's the types of uh, tab stops uh, five tabs left tabs right tabs center tabs decimal tabs and bar tabs okay now again we will discuss that the, how can we implement the tab stop key we can stop uh, we can apply by the help of rulers and again we can apply in the paragraph home tabs and paragraph rule in that if you click on paragraph paragraph then it will start the tab stops tab box where you can set where you can set the different left tab uh, left tab right tab center tab according to your tab stops okay i hope you uh, students you all understand these concepts it's uh, one of the most important uh, tools through which we can mix our documents meaningful and it enhance the readability of your documents okay uh, if you have knowledge of tab stop key then you arrange the text in uh, according to your requirements and you can separate that means in a document you can uh, write anything in a column wise yeah you can column wise by the help of uh, bar tabs and you can align numeric value which contain the decimal by decimal tabs that's all the tab stop key if you have again any query then you can comment to me on my uh, on 